Alright guys, so starting off, I am just applying my eyeshadow primer and then just rubbing that in with my fingers. Then I'm going in with the Maybelline Color Tattoo in the color Bold Gold and I'm just applying that as a base on my eyelids because I'm going to be applying a gold eyeshadow on top of this and it's just going to help the gold eyeshadow stick better and also to appear more vibrant. So I'm just rubbing that in. Then I'm going in with my original Naked palette. I'm just taking um, the color Half Baked and I'm placing that on my lids. And I actually am taking a flat shader brush and I dipped it in water before applying the eyeshadow. And if you dip the brush in water or you can use Fix Plus or um, actually eye drops and it will just give the look of the eyeshadow a more, a more foiled look and make it appear more vibrant if you apply it with a wet brush. So that is what I'm doing here. And then I'm just going in with a light brown shade and I am applying that into my crease to help blend out the edges of that gold eyeshadow and add a little bit more depth to this look. Then I'm going in with my e.l.f. liquid eyeliner and I am applying a dramatic winged eyeliner. I'm actually doing this eyeliner a lot more dramatic than I normally do because obviously this is a Halloween makeup tutorial so I just thought a really dramatic wing would look good with this look. So that is what I am doing here. And then just to clean up the edges of my winged eyeliner, I'm going in with a Q-tip that I dipped and some makeup remover and just taking that along the edges to just get a really clean edge on my winged eyeliner. Then I'm just going in with a black eyeliner and lining my upper and lower water lines and tight lining. And then I'm going in with a red eyeshadow and I'm taking that on a small angled brush and I'm just dragging that along my lower lash line and pulling it out underneath my winged eyeliner and doing a little bit of a double winged look. And I'm also connecting this red eyeshadow along my lower lash line. So you just want to connect it along your lower lash line and then slowly drag it out and using the black wing eyeliner as a guide of where you want to place down this second wing and then just drag it along your lower lash line. Then I'm going back in with that gold eyeshadow and applying that to my lower lash line as well and I'm slightly blending it in with the red eyeshadow that I just placed down. Then just go ahead and apply mascara and some eyelashes and I am going in and deepening up my crease of this eye look a little bit more with a darker brown eyeshadow to just give it a little bit more depth. And I'm going in with my NYC Sunny Bronzer and I'm just contouring my face as normal. I am doing it a little bit more dramatic since this is for Halloween. Then I'm going in with a combination of two pink shades from this Coastal Scents blush palette and just applying that to my cheeks. And then I'm going in with my Heart Candy Tiki Bronzer and I am applying that to my cheekbones just to add a nice glow for this look. Then I am just going in with my Jordana Fabu Eyeliner. You can use any kind of eyeliner you prefer, but I found using an eyeliner pen worked really easy to draw the heart on my cheeks. So I am just drawing that on my face and then just filling it in with this eyeliner. Then moving on to the lips, I am just taking a concealer and muting out my lips and then going in with a powder to set that in place. Then I'm just taking a red lip liner, this is from e.l.f. and I am just drawing a little heart on the middle of my lips and you can make the heart any size you want it to be on your lips. Then I'm just going and filling that in with the lip liner and then taking a red lipstick and then just filling them in even more. And then that is the completed makeup. Now for my costume, I actually borrowed this costume from my best friend. So thank you, Lindsay, for letting me borrow your costume. But you guys can find a Queen of Hearts costume online. You can search on Amazon, or I'm sure you can find them at your local Halloween store. But that is it. That is the completed look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this Queen of Hearts-inspired Halloween makeup tutorial. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.